All right, well, John Deere's back in the shop. As you can see, it's uh, not a temperature update in a couple of days now, so it's saying 61. Uh, I'll give you guys a time estimate. I think it's around like almost 12 o'clock. Uh, yeah, 11.46. Not gonna show you the rest because I got a text message from someone. But um, yeah, so. There's the deal. Yesterday I just wanted to get them two push mowers done because I got one person by that Murray. And the dude for the lawn boy might be picking that up either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, so I had to get those done out of the way. I had to ever do a bunch of running around yesterday. I had to get some stuff and things like that. Uh, then I also had to finish the uh, bathroom from the other tenant's apartment there because we ended up ripping a hole in the wall so we could fix the shower. So I had to finish that up and get that done. So. Now it's Thursday, as you can see, we're at the shop, uh, so yeah, so pretty much I went out, I got the belt, I'll give you guys a quick little update, I got the belt for the Arians, uh, I threw the belt on the Arians, the belt keeps falling off, uh, this little, belt's the right size, what it is is this little uh, idler arm tensioner son of a bitch, and the idler pulley is just worn out, and uh, there's no little, um, like there's no... This, we'll take this, this is actually an idler arm too. Um, the little edges here that stick out, these are completely worn down. So uh, this is completely flat and this only has like a little bit left. So I need to order a new, this isn't the, uh, this isn't it, but it's still in the, the zero turn. So I need to order one. Uh, I priced one out, shipped to my house. It's gonna be like almost $38. It's like $27 for the dam. Um, Actually, I don't think it was 30. I think it was a little bit less. Maybe 32. Um, 32 bucks shipped to my house for a little tiny pulley. And I've tried cross-referencing cross the part number. Uh, no one's got it. Um, then I tried Eastern Bearings. And, well, they couldn't come up because I guess it's some really weird size, I guess. And, like, we've never even seen this pulley in their lives. So that was just awesome. Uh, so I'm... Um, Probably eventually gonna fix it, just not right now. <laughs> Cause I don't feel like shit no thirty something dollars out of my ass. I know it's like twenty seven ninety something. And then it's like another eight dollars and something cents to ship it, so it's like holy. But uh Yeah, so there's the Arians update. Um as for the John Deere. I did a little bit of work on it last night. I cleaned up some of it, I power washed it, uh cleaned up a little bit, I'm gonna do some oddball stuff that I don't usually do on a regular tractor but I think at this time I'm gonna really clean it up make it look good like I'm gonna paint you know just the innards of that to make it look good on the other side here there's a little bit of dirt and shit there still um, so I'm gonna do that I've already did the hood hood camo pretty decent I'm not too too happy with it uh, the scratches in this hood are really deep but you know it looks a shitload better than what it did I mean it used to look like that friggin fender well, I tapped it right there, so you still look like this. Really dull. You know, it looks like that. So, but, uh, I had one little sand through spot right there. I'm not too happy about. I thought this hood was green all the way through. Apparently it's not. They use that black plastic shit, and then they paint pretty much right over it, so that kind of sort of sucked. But, whatever. Um... So, oh yeah, and the, uh, my uncle last night, he got the, uh, the brake, the two snap bolts for the brake, uh, caliper there. He got those out, we had a brake with one of the torches, we were able to get one out, no problem, the other one, forget it. Uh, we were working on it for about an hour last night trying to get the damn bolt out, and we ended up, uh, pretty much, uh, drilling out the center of it, and then just tapping a new hole, and that was pretty much about it, but, uh. He's on his way back. He lives all the way up in Nashua, New Hampshire. So he is going to come back now because he forgot his phone. So that's nice. <laughs> Sucks for him. But uh, he should be here shortly. So, yeah. So I'm going to get to work on this deer. I must try and finish putting the uh, caliper on. Uh, the pads back on. The rim back on. That, once that's done, I'm going to tip the tractor back over, sharpen the blades and uh, 
give it one last power washing and clean her up and it's a uh, done deal out of my hands tomorrow I'm going up to well me and buddy there are gonna go up to a, a dealer there gonna go get some more uh, some more tractors tractors and uh, maybe a zero turn a husk fern I'm not really sure if we're definitely getting it yet it'd be pretty cool if we did um, but I don't know if we'll be getting it yet, so it might be this week, it might be next week. We're waiting for the owner, the original owner, to get back to us with the price and everything. So I know tomorrow we're going up there, we're going to go pick up some shit. You never know what we're going to come back with. Maybe a mini, mini, mini mower or something like that, I don't know. But, uh, I know we got one craftsman coming in, that's all I know. And then, uh, tomorrow, also, I got a PJ's going to come by, we're going to mill these boards down. Uh, for the stairs, uh, I got the router table all assembled here, and I got to break out the table saw because each one of these boards has to be cut down to I think three, three and a quarter. Um, I'm using right now a five, so I got to go get another measurement just to double check it. Uh, got my router all in place there, and uh, yeah, so. The one thing, apparently, apparent, just just apparently, these people that work at a home improvement store that cut the wood for us, uh, Lowe's home improvement stores there, they can't measure for fucking jack shit. They cut each and every single one of these boards. Like, these are the ones that were supposed to be right. Holy, that was a pretty big bang. Here goes my old truck, boys. Hey, get back here. You want to know something, guys? I don't miss that truck one bit. I don't miss it at all. My truck's way more comfortable, rides way more nicer. That's just my opinion. My truck's actually got air conditioning. Well, kind of has air conditioning, I'll put it that way. My truck had no power. My new truck's got power, everything. Oh, but, uh... Yeah, this truck's still on, that truck's still on the road. Like I said, I'll show you a few times, you know. But uh, this summer, we're gonna he's gonna bring it back. Not this month, actually. He's actually gonna bring it back to the shop here, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of body work to it. Um, but we're gonna finish pretty much what I started is uh, we're gonna finish the sides up, get them all finished, sanded down um, with the bondo and shit to cover up the dents I did, and then uh, we're gonna paint it that blue color. Um, from pretty much the top of the body line down, we're going to do, and, uh, yeah, so that'll be a summer project, and we're going to, I think we're going to put, like, a pinstripe on to, um, to break up the, uh, to break up the, uh, the new color between the old color, so, that's a different project, but, uh, that bang that I just heard, holy shit, that thing was fucking loud, I don't know if the camera picked it up or not. But uh, I had to stop, so I, I was wondering what the hell was going on. And actually, what it was, it was a um, dump truck, and they're paving right down the street here. And, uh, the, the gate or something like that fell off the back of the fucking truck. Um, like the, the big dump cart, the dim, bleh, the big dump um, son of a bitch actually fell right off. It's not like one of the big 16-wheeler type deals, it's just one of the rack body type deals, and... That's actually what happened. It was the steel gate fell right out the back of the truck as they were paving, so. Holy, that was quite the noise. But, uh, enough talking. Let's uh, get to work on this, uh, dumb deer. Well, the, uh, the dead deer, I should say, because right now the deer's kind of sort of missing a leg. Yup. Alright, just get done, uh, washing the tractor down. Holy, look at that hood. It's just blowing in the sun. Nice. Still gotta do the back fender, but uh, just power washed it up for the last time, and it's almost done. Just uh, two more things left to do on it. Let's just finish the back end and change the fuel filter. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah. I might uh, I might move some shit around in the backyard. Uh, just gonna move some shit here, move some shit there, and uh, I might take the weed eater out there too, because the grass is getting a little bit too tall. But, uh, yeah. Thing cleaned up pretty nice, though. 
So my uncle about a week ago gave me this table to saw off a scrap. He didn't know if it worked or not. He just kind of saw a trash, picked it and gave it to me. So I was looking at it and I just happened to catch him below here. It says Rockwell. And Rockwell makes pretty damn nice tools. Huh, the wildlife. But um, yeah, so they usually make pretty damn nice tools and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, all right. So I was sitting in the backyard and I was just getting ready to call one of my friends if he had wanted it. Uh, you know, I didn't even know if it worked, and well, I'll write it up, but this thing runs nice. I'm gonna keep this bitch. Runs really nice. Yeah, so that thing there, holy, that's a nice, that's a nice saw. Uh, Rockwell makes some pretty nice shit. I didn't know it was Rockwell until about two minutes ago, just before I was getting ready to call one of my buddies and say, hey, you want a table saw? And uh, I think I'm gonna be keeping that one. I might sell, I have a Ryobi one, it's kind of shitty, it's not the greatest one in the world. I think I might sell that one on Craigslist, it's about a, probably about four years old. I think I only used it maybe three times, because it's it a really shitty saw. But, uh, yeah, got myself a new table saw, yeah. I think it's nice, it runs really nice. But, uh, I have a nice, I have a nice craftsman in the shed too, but, uh, nothing's gonna beat that one now. That's a nice saw. Scores free made in the US of A. Alright, so I've just been rocking out to some gnarly ass country shit. And uh, I was just getting ready, I just literally just finished up this tractor and I was just getting ready to go outside, take some photos of it, and well, didn't even hear the rain. Oh yeah. It's just a pouring boys. So, uh, yeah, so this John Deere is officially done. Only thing left to do is just take some photos and uh, get rid of it. But it cleaned up pretty nice. I'm not too happy about this one fender right here because get the scratches, but whatever. What can you do? It's done. It's as good as it's going to get. I cleaned up the motor like I was talking about this morning and sprayed some of the shit in there along there. Uh, cleaned up the block a little bit better. Uh, this little cover here, sprayed that. and. You know, it's just the smallest shit that makes everything look better. I mean, even look at it on this side. You know, looks a whole lot. Holy shit, it is really coming down now. Holy shit. Wow. Alright. I don't know if you guys can, if the camera can hear it. But, uh. Yeah, so she's done. Um, sharpen up the blades too. You can even tell I used the red paint on this time. I like to change up the colors just a little bit. <laughs> but uh, the one thing I, I just don't like about these tractors is these seats. Like, they're, they're the most ugliest seat in the world. And I mean, it just doesn't go with the tractor, you know? But I mean, this seat here is a lot better than the other one that we had on it, but I don't know. It's still pretty shitty looking. But uh, I don't know what he's gonna be asking for this tractor, so I'll have to find some more info about it. Um, yeah, but it runs nice, you know, pretty decent tractor. I'm sure someone's going to buy it and mow the yard with it and then just run it right into the ground, you know. But I think the tractor itself is probably like a 93. Um, I'm not really sure how to tell on like a John Deere with a Kohler. Um, actually, you know what I mean? Holy shit. Wow. Holy shit. Look at the trailer, boys. Wow. <laughs> it is really raining out now. Um, one thing I didn't see on this tractor is the model number. I just realized that. Usually they're under... Oh wait, no, 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 no. Here it is. I found it. Yeah, I don't know how to tell on these John Deere's. Yeah, there's really no number. It says 81, but there's no way this tractor was made in 81. Um... Yeah, I don't really know. I'm guessing it's probably about 94. Let me look on the sticker. Where's that sticker? Holy shit. It is just a coming down. Look at the sticker. Sometimes I'll say it on here. Um, well, I got this number right here. That's the serial number. Maybe 98 or 89 or 91. 
Those are my guesses. Probably 91 or something. I mean, I don't know how to tell on these coolers. If anyone does, let me know. But, uh, it's done. Out of my hair. I'm going to clean up the shop. I already clean up the yard big time. I would take you guys out there, but I just get soaked. I don't know if you guys can look out the window, but it's clean. But, uh, yeah. And just like that, it stopped raining. Yep. All of a sudden, it just stops and the sun comes out. But here's the deer for you for the finished product. I I should just show you guys that real quick. That seed on it just looks like a fucking bitch. But the rest of the tractor cleaned up really nice. Came out really nice. It's gonna go for a pretty good deal, I think, too. That's nice. Someone's gonna have a nice little yard tractor. But, uh, yeah, so I'm done for the day. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the shop like what I was doing. Um. So yeah, I haven't heard anything about the, I uh, figured I should give you guys a quick little slot update. Uh, I haven't really heard anything back from the pipes, my uncle has those. He said he got them all banged out, he's in the process of welding them back together, so we'll probably see him sometime next year, uh, the way how things usually go. But I don't know if I showed you, but the di last time I made the video of the sled, I actually uh, cleaned up the, uh, the, uh, the uh, belly pan here with the power wash. I spent about a good hour cleaning it in. Cleaned up really nice, right now I have the silencer out and the uh, chain case, I think I might have already showed you guys that, but uh, I mean this thing cleaned up really nice, so, yeah, but uh, yeah, so I think I'm done, um, I guess we'll call her a day, tomorrow we're going to go get some more, tra <coughs> some more tractors in tomorrow, um, and yeah, so I guess we'll have to see what uh, what we get in. I know there's one craftsman. The rest is all up in the air. Um, ooh, one last thing, guys. Uh, I want to know if any of you guys have ever done this. I want to cut this fan blade down so that way it fits in that uh, stovepipe tube there. Uh, if someone can let me know if there's any trick of cutting these. Like, do I have to bend them? Because I was just thinking about. Uh, Cutting it like right there and just kind of sort of curving it in just enough so that way it fits up in that uh, six inch tube that's up in there. Um, like the outer ring of it is uh, eight inches wide, but the inner ring is six inches wide. I already measured it. So, or do you think I should just go out and uh, try and find a new wind propeller for this thing? Because I don't really want to get this thing working. Because this would be awesome for having the shop. Just a little something to plug in. Um, as for these lights here, I'm still waiting for someone to get back to me on. They said they might know what the uh, wiring son of a bitch is on it. I uh, just has a feeling that it's just these white and uh, re uh, the white and the black ones. That's all I gotta pretty much use. But he's just waiting on one more person to confirm it. But uh, yeah, so I guess we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow, guys. Till then, uh, don't let the John Deere run you over. How's that one for a change?